So, you're interested in running Linux. And honestly, I can't blame you for that. Uh, with the direction Windows is going in and the direction that Mac OS has constantly stayed in, maybe you're interested in doing things a bit differently. And so you've come to this video wondering what the difference is between a Windows-based system and a Linux-based system. Before we answer the question, though, I just want to say that this is not going to be a Windows bad, Linux good type of video. I'm not here to start any tribalistic fires down in the comments section. So let's stop beating around the bush and just answer the question. The main difference between a Windows system and a Linux system is customizability and modularity. Linux has basically an infinite number of ways you can customize your system. From the colors of Windows, to the icons that show up in your file browsers, to the file browser itself, to even like sub-level things like audio subsystems and file types. Windows has basically none of that. But what Windows lacks in customizability is a very consistent and, you would hope, stable experience. Every Windows system is going to look, feel, and operate almost exactly the same. And there are ways to customize your Windows install and do some fancy things with like colors and backgrounds and maybe some icons here and there, but you're not gonna customize it as well as a Linux system. Like you're not really changing how Windows runs. If you needed a stable, locked down and consistent method to run your computer for like an office or for work, or you needed a bunch of computers that you know are gonna operate the exact same way, Windows works just fine. And if you enjoy how Windows runs and you are totally comfortable with the status quo there, I'm not here to judge you. I'm not here to tell you you're wrong. I'm just here to show you what the other side is like. Maybe you'll like it, maybe you won't, but ultimately that's up to you. Now the customizability of Linux does go that deep. You can build Linux from scratch and build your kernel and run it and do everything just from a command line and do all that insane like industry level IT stuff. But the brilliance of it is that you don't need to. You do not need to know the difference between Systemd and OpenRC. Matter of fact, you don't even need to know the differences between like Ubuntu and Mint. Like the concept of a distro itself exists to allow new users to jump in and try it out and see if they like it. And if you're confused on what a distro is and what exactly that means and which distro you should pick, go ahead and click this video right up here. I already did a whole thing talking about distros and you know what it is and why distros are different and why they exist and all that fun stuff. So you can just go watch this video here and I'll explain everything from there. But to get back to this point, uh, you might have noticed I've got some Lego sitting here in the background. Now, if you've watched my content before, you would know that I appreciate a good analogy to illustrate my point. This is a model of Benny's spaceship, spaceship, spaceship from the Lego movie. It is a very intricate and very well-built Lego set, and I built it using the instructions that came in the box. And this Lego set is the equivalent to a Linux distribution meant for beginners, like Linux Mint or Ubuntu or even Manjaro in some cases. But it's also like a Windows install. You have this curated experience that's all put together for you, and it's all up to you to just experience it. Two people who buy the same Benny Spaceship 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 Lego set are going to have a similar experience if they both follow the instructions. But with Linux, well, uh, let's say I didn't want uh, Benny, Emmett, and Wildstyle to be the ones who were driving the ship. What if I wanted Doctor Strange, uh, Jetpack Stormtrooper, and Bill Murray from the Ghostbusters to be the pilots of this ship? What if I wanted all of these blue parts to be red or purple or something. This set is Lego, so it allows me to take it apart, put it back together however I want. It may take a while, but I can do it. Windows doesn't offer exactly that same experience. You can do some surface level changes, but let's say I wanted to completely rebuild this front cockpit section. Ah, well, tough luck there, kiddo. This entire front section here has been super glued together. And if you've seen the Lego movie, you know how disappointing that is. But I also got to take a step back and remind myself that some people appreciate super gluing their Lego sets together. Now, do I think these people are the scum of the earth? I'll get back to you on that one. But Lego allows them to have a space where they can express themselves. If they want to build this set and super glue it together and have it be exactly as it is and display it on a shelf, that's totally okay. But the key difference is that this set also allows for people with like, say, a higher skill level or higher patience, more realistically, to take it apart, put it back together, build something new, build it back again exactly as it was, replace parts, replace characters, do whatever. Linux allows for all of these people to coexist in the same ecosystem. Windows doesn't. 
Like I said, you can build your system however you want, you can run it however you want, there's no judgement here. But you still deserve to be stoned to death. <laughs> I can't put that in the video, I'm putting that in the video. And if you want to go even further, well I mean, there's always the, the bucket of parts laying here that you can just take out pieces and just start building whatever you want. This is the equivalent of like Linux from scratch, you know? If you really want to get your hands dirty and, and go deep into the command line and start compiling everything yourself. And if you really think about it, the whole Lego analogy works a lot better than I initially thought. <laughs> because if you look at a set like Benny's Spaceship Spaceship Spaceship, and you look at how it's built, and you look at all the intricacies of it, and you look at exactly how the master builder who designed this thing put it together, you can take inspiration from them and use the bucket of garbage to build something like that yourself. Building Lego sets exposes you to different styles of building. And with the infinite knowledge at our fingertips on the internet, you can just look up new ways to build your Lego sets and build something that's totally unique to just you. And if you're good enough at it, maybe you can even get a job at Lego. I know this is exactly how Linux is because that's what happened to me. I may not have a job doing Linux stuff at a company somewhere, but I definitely know more than I did nine months ago. I absolutely hated using the command line when I first started. I would take every opportunity I could to avoid using the command line out of sheer spite. I thought to myself, why would I want to use this archaic bullshit in running my computer? We have GUIs, we have buttons, we have these things that already make the computer so much more intuitive to use to a regular person. Why would I even bother spending the time to learn the syntax of the command line? Nine, ten months later and that opinion has completely turned around. But I'll save that discussion for the next episode in this Linux Crash Course series. I still have plenty of stuff to talk about when it comes to a new user's experience in Linux. So if you're curious and you want to ask questions, feel free to go down in the comments section and ask away. You've got me and you've got the plenty of other dedicated and experienced Linux users here in my community to answer any question you may or may not have. That's how good they are. They can answer questions that you didn't even think of. <laughs> I hope that I was able to answer a couple of questions you might have had. Because Linux is not better or worse than Windows. It's a completely different thing. On the surface, it might seem the same, but when you really get into the, the weeds of Linux, entirely different ballgame. And some are going to pick up on these aspects quicker than others. So even if you don't understand Linux right away, maybe it's worth it to keep at it. Because at the end of the day, it's all about freedom. Freedom to run your system however you want. Away from the clutches of evil and greedy corporations that just want to siphon data off of you. You get the freedom to separate yourself from some of the terminally online aspects of other operating systems. <laughs> like the ads in the file explorer or the start menu of a Windows system. Or the unapologetically walled garden approach to computers that Apple has. You can break free of these ecosystems, you can be independent, you can run your system however you want. You can teach yourself something new, you can learn from others, you can be a part of a community with Linux. Obviously, it's not a perfect experience. Nothing is. And it's ultimately going to come down to you and decide whether or not the benefits of Linux are worth some of the drawbacks. But I feel like I'm repeating myself, so I'm just going to go ahead and end this video. I'd like to take this moment to thank my patrons who give me money and support the channel directly. If you would like to support this channel directly, you can become a patron and get access to videos a whole day early, uh, special behind the scenes videos that let you learn exactly how I make all of my videos on Linux, and a bunch of other cool perks that I'll figure out later. <laughs> The link to that is in the description down below and at the end of this video. And again, if you have any other questions on this stuff, don't be afraid to leave a comment. Like I said, my goal is not to tell you you're wrong for choosing Windows. I just want to answer any questions and clear up any miscommunications there might be. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. Thank you again to the patrons, and I will see you in the next episode of the Linux Crash Course series.